And at this station, I'd like to talk to you about the Industrial Research Chair, the 4-Hour Industrial Research Chair, exciting new program that we've launched at the University of Manitoba. Actually launched it in, in January. We've had to keep quiet about it. Uh, but now we're able to um, talk about it and share with you some of the things that we're doing. This project uh, that we've been talking about today, this field site, uh, has part of the chair program and its objectives. Okay. The um, uh, 4R Industrial Research Chair is a program of NSERC, so that's the Natural Sciences and Engineering Research Council of the Federal Government of Canada, and it's a program that puts together industry and university researchers in partnerships together to uh, advance a key critical um, research for the benefit of uh, Canadian, the Canadian public and industry. In this case, we, the benefit is targeting agriculture in Canada. Okay, and the Industrial Research Chair is um, really focused on increasing nitrogen fertilizer use efficiency and reducing environmental impacts of nitrogen use particularly fertilizer use in crop production. And you guessed it, we're looking at 4Rs as a major means to reduce those impacts and also to improve the nitrogen use efficiency. Our motto is better nitrogen fertilizer use for crop and environmental health. So you've seen we're talking about agronomic and environmental here together, not just one, okay? And how does 4Rs relate? Well, the source rate timing and placement, as you've learned about all today, big factors on yield response, nitrogen losses through nitrous oxide emissions, ammonia losses. We haven't talked so much about it today, about nitrate, nitrate leaching, especially on soils that are quite sandy as we have here. Okay. And so uh, the four R's have a big role to play in reducing those losses and increasing our yields. The program is a five-year program of research and outreach and the sponsors are Western Grains Research Foundation, Fertilizer Canada, NSERC, the University of Manitoba, uh, my laboratory, the Applied Soil Ecology Laboratory. So uh, all contributing partners in this uh, program Okay, the program is to be a national leader in advancing for our benefits and adoption in Canada and the world. There are six objectives to the program. The first is a very practical one, finding nitrification inhibitors that work with anhydrous ammonia applied in the fall. So far we've not been able to find nitrification inhibitors that have been able to slow nitrification uh, with anhydrous ammonia in the fall and reduce N2O emissions. What we found is that very late application of anhydrous ammonia seems to arrest nitrification on its own because our soils freeze so rapidly in the fall. So if you wait till November or so to apply your anhydrous, you can get a chance of it sticking. But of course, we want options for earlier than that. It's kind of risky in November. So we need, we need to find some nitrification inhibitors that are gonna work. That's the first thing, that we're, one of the first things we're looking at. The next is expanding the university's research to include major loss such as ammonia and nitrate leaching. I don't have the infrastructure to show you right now. We're just procuring that right now. But we're having going to have micromet approach to measuring ammonia fluxes in real time in the field, which is very exciting at uh, actually field scale, farmer scale uh, uh, fields to um, look at different uh, sources of nitrogen, for example, or timing of applications on reducing ammonia losses. And also we're picking up uh, lysimeters, looking at nitrate that leaches through the soil. Uh, and so looking at what's happening after harvest and if for our practices are reducing those losses. We're gonna be modifying computer programs, models, computer models to include for our practices 
for the prediction of N2O emissions. So taking our data here and other previous projects and colleagues across Canada to uh, modify uh, the existing program DNDC that has been fine-tuned with some of our help for Canada in predicting N2O. The fourth is to summarize findings of National Farmers Fertilizer Use Surveys for between the East and the West in Canada and to put that into a publicly available database for researchers to be able to use in uh, research and modeling. And so we're going to be uh, getting that out. You'll see some of that data with John Hurd's uh, presentations today about uh, fertilizer use in Manitoba. Uh, number five is use our research findings to improve uh, the model and current understand the current 4R practices to determine future nitrogen uh, loss scenarios um, based on adoption of 4R. So in other words, if we change or improve the adoption of 4Rs, what's the impact on nitrogen losses, N2O losses, ammonia losses, okay? And then the last is outreach, exactly what we're doing today. Get out to the public, get out to farmers, get out to industry, get the word out, what we're finding, the benefits of 4Rs, when it works, even when it doesn't work. We're not just going to be biased towards the, all the good stuff, but you know, this is highly technical information and we need to uh, be aware of that and understand um, the nuances and the details of how, when to, uh, the practices will work and for example, what types of soils they'll work, weather conditions and so forth. So there we have it. For more information about our uh, Industrial Research pa Chair Program, please check out www.soilecology.ca. All right, thank you.